Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Conquest Ultimate. It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be exploring the world of... What's the grass place called again? I completely forgot. Uh, Greenleaf. Of course it's called Greenleaf. That's simple to understand, and I couldn't figure that out. So, of all the team members we have, I think the ones I'm going to uh, bring are the ones we just happened to use in that one episode. So, let's just hope for the best and, you know, maybe things won't fall apart. Yeah, fire type should shine. I only have one fire type, and my water type is really weak to grass, so... Yeah. My other... Well, I have two water types. Mine and the other guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, my Swampert's really weak to grass, and my freaking Vaporeon... Oh, we gotta do our absolute best. Motonari has a brand new Pokemon in this game. A freaking... Um... Oh, crap. My brain just turned off. Torterra, sorry. My brain can turn off sometimes. Aw, oh, he's old and tired. Yeah, our army would fall apart without your wisdom, Lord, my lord. So yes, this guy is more of a tactician than anything. He's a brainy type. He's not uh, not anything else. So we're going to see if we can beat him. We do have a higher power level, but he has type advantage by far. And this is going to be the first map that actually looks different. All right, this should be exciting. Give our guests a cordial welcome. Yeah, we got to be so careful on this one. Because our Swampert and Vaporeon are going to be struggling. What do you think it takes to win battles, Cooper? You're thinking strength, right? But strength alone is not enough. Actually, you could win this battle by killing all the enemy Pokemon. But he's not wrong. If you wanted to win by strategy, you can claim all three banners to win. So we are going to go ahead and move our guys forward. We got Blaziken. We got Vaporeon. We're just getting them ready to go. Uh, we're going to send Swampert to the other side because we have to be careful with our Swampert. Yeah. Uh, we're going to send Shift Tree forward. And we're going to send Beware forward for sure. These four are going to be going to the normal path. Wormadam's going all in. Wormadam's actually really good against these enemy types. It just, I think there's only like one or two we got to be worried about. Based on what their moves might be. The Rock Guy for sure though. So let's see, they built themselves a bridge. That's always fun. Uh, this guy has a dark move. Okay, dark move instead of a fighting move. So we're splitting up and going after those banners, right? All right, Lady Cooper, we, yeah, 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 you got this. Ah, oh, that guy's got a ghost move, Spirit Shackle. That's awesome. Oh my God. I like your rock stone edge makes sense. That's probably one of the best rock types in the game since its speed stat is actually good. Ludicolo is just Ludicolo. It's a fine Pokemon. Nothing wrong with that. Torterra has Woodhammer, a five-star attack. Holy crap. That's basically Flare Blitz. Mock Punch. It's only a three-star attack, which makes sense. It's Mock Punch. I'm surprised it's not lower than three. So I could already hurt somebody. Mm, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I might go for that just because I don't really need my Wormadam in this fight. I'm going to use it. I just don't technically need it. Blaziken might come in handy. Uh, beware, I want you for their bear. It's going to be bear versus bear. Vaporeon, I don't want you and that and my Swampert to fight Torterra if I can help it. So let's send Shiftry over there. Yeah, Shiftry can resist grass and still fight it. So I got to trust Shiftry. Uh, Vaporeon could help fight the Pangoro if he needs it, but I don't think we need it. Swampert can go capture the enemy flag. Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Shift Tree, Shift Tree can do it alone. Because Vaporeon definitely has to go to the main battlefield and help. Just because, uh, shit. Yep, there's traps on the map. I forgot. So, just to, I'm probably going to die anyway, but I, I honestly, I have so many conveyances, I might as well. Don't fall into a hole. There's just random traps on the map. You just don't know where they are. Infestation. Okay, it didn't miss. Thank God. The most important thing was that it didn't miss, so now I'm going to get maximum damage. Well, at least four. Even if I don't get five, it's fine. Okay, that was really good. That was good damage. Uh, Swampert, I'm thinking I I think Shift Tree should be enough to at least hold this one on, and then I'll send Beware over there. I want Swampert to help out over here. Yeah. Torterra, scary. Let's see how far this bird's going. Can't hit me there. Perfect. Ludicolo is going to be the one on the flag, which is annoying because that means it's going to heal on the flag. Uh, that guy's the only one I'm afraid of. That's the one that can kill most of my team members. Uh, that guy could kill my good team members. Oh, it sends him forward. I resisted and it did that much to me, but it lowered his defense. So, silver linings. 
Pangoro's coming, but that's why it's going to be a bear versus bear fight. That's going to be awesome. Uh, that guy's going to mock punch. I was hoping he'd fall into a hole. He did not fall into a hole. Okily dokily. Problem. I need to get to that Ludicolo before it starts infinitely healing. Um, and I'm stuck. I am legit stuck. Conveillance is kicking in. Conveillance is kicking in. Yeah, they surrounded my Pokemon knowing what I was trying to do. And I was going to send Vaporeon, but I can't. So now I gotta send Blaziken. And then Warmadam. I mean, technically I could try to go around. Or I could just force the attack on it. Because those two I can't really kill. But I could force the attack on this one. All that matters is that we keep that guy low. Good. And get the kill if possible, obviously. Like with a crit, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so close thanks to the crit. And now Wormadam is a real threat because their flag will not be guarded. I can already get a hit in over here. And it's okay. That guy's tankier than I thought. Pangora should have be tanky though. They should have a lot of HP and they hit hard. But Drain Punch is definitely going to put him in a bad spot. I could stand here and attack. But I think I'm just going to go all the way over here. Um, I want to be able to start healing. And then Swampert. Swampert, go join the team as soon as you can. So I feel like we got two of these pretty much uh, down. You're tired due to wood hammer. That's good. All right. The lichen rock's a problem. It's going to mess up my fire type. Up oh, here comes the wood hammer again. Uh, the defense drop's definitely going to... The defense drop should be hurting him, but he's doing so much to us. Accuracy boost. Uh-oh. All right, Wormadam, you can take one. Come on. Yep, 10 damage. You can take it. You're actually just a tank Pokemon. You don't do anything else. You're not very fast, and you are not very high in attack. Breloom's ready to mock Punch. Let's see what it's like. 26! Holy crap. I just wanted to take a peek at the damage. It, I didn't realize it would be that real. Oof. Pangoro, he's playing for real. Alright, I lined up my enemy Pokemon exactly how I wanted to. The frying ability doesn't actually matter unless he misses. I need that speed drop to matter. Luckily, I got a lot of heals coming through, including the flag heal. Yep, see how big that heal was because he's on the flag? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's start with our Swampert. All we're going to do is Eagle Eye. And we're going to just go ahead and shoot some water. It's not going to do much, but look, at least they don't have grass attacks. In fact, the only one in this entire army with a grass attack is uh, Torterra. So as long as I avoid Torterra, Torterra, we're good. This is my only fire type, so this is going to be good damage. I thought it would be better. I'll live with what we got. Blaze kick from hell! Watch out! <laughs> oh, into a trap! There was a trap there! I love it. I don't need top speed, but I got Lycanroc right in my sights. No, Lycanroc, obviously. Come on. All right, if I can kill off that Lycanroc, I'll feel so much safer. Beautiful. We got rid of the Lycanroc. Okay. And you, just continue your work. Just continue your work. If you can get rid of the freaking Ludicolo, we're set. Because all we have to do is capture the last flag. We don't even need to kill all the Pokemon. As long as we capture the last flag, we win. And by doing that, we guaranteed it next turn, unless he can hold my or stop my range. Pangoro lost the 1v1. That was gonna that was obvious. Mine's normal fighting, he's fighting dark. He didn't stand a chance. Especially since he had a dark move. Uh yeah, we're not killing this uh this thing. We're gonna punch it, but we're not killing it. Yeah. I, mean, I could try. Oh, he's trying to capture my flag. He's desperate. What's your... Oh, you're trying to raise your defense and... Whoa, it has two... He has two abilities on top of whatever raising the defense was? Alright. Well, you keep dropping your defense, so I guess it makes up for Woodhammer. I guess that's the whole play. He makes up for Woodhammer by getting rid of the drop in defense. So it goes back to neutral. Our Pokemon are done healing. Yeah, Warmadam's going to capture that for game. But before we do, we could attempt to get kills. So, like, if I were to kick the bird, would that kill the bird? That might kill the bird. Uh, it's it's kind of close. All right. See if I get, like, I don't know, a flincher or something. A crit. I have a high crit chance. Oh, I got the burn. Could kill the bird by burn. Hmm. 
I can also kill the bird by Swampert. Ah, uh, do I want that? I'm probably not going to be able to kill Breloom. And honestly, going for the kills is just for fun at this point. Alright, we got rid of the bird. Like, if I were to go all the way over there and fight the Torterra, I don't think I'd be able to kill it. I think it's that strong. Yeah, look at that. Drain Punch from my second strongest member, and they're, they're not even taking any damage. I could even buff myself. I wouldn't be able to kill him in this time. I could do 13 damage. Look how much less that is. Holy crap. That is, yeah, his defense rise was huge. Uh, yeah, let's just win. I feel bad. He said it was all about strategy, so I'm just going to show him that he's going to wish he didn't ask for a strategy game. All right. Sorry, Modinari. You didn't stand a chance. We all got good experience. Even Warmadam got good experience. They got the best. Wow. That's kind of wild. I thought Shiftry did the hardest job. Oh, we got three new Pokemon, too. Heck yeah. Three new Pokemon with three new trainers. Or warriors, sorry. Lord Motonari. Oh, he's just going to go somewhere to be in peace. Okay, you go be peaceful. We did it, everybody. We captured all of the areas. And now we got three new members. The Lycanroc trainer that likes ground normal types. I don't know many of those. Pangoro trainer that likes grass dark types. I know exactly what you want. And the Ludicolo trainer that likes grass bug types. There's a couple things that could be that. So we're just going to recruit all of them because I think they're all going to be very helpful. And they're probably stronger than all the other members I captured in the wild, funny enough. So let's send them over to... You know, Aurora is fine. Let them stay in Aurora for now. Some of them I might want to have as team members. I just haven't decided who. Oh, Lady Cooper, congratulations. You've heard the stories too, haven't you? The legendary Pokemon who is said to appear before the one who conquers all the kingdoms? The truth is that, right now, Ransay is on the brink of destruction. Far to the north of Aurora, a certain warlord had set out on a road of conquest. His name was Nobunaga. His stated aim was to conquer all of the kingdoms and destroy Ransay. All right, Nobunaga wants to do that. If Nobunaga is trying to destroy Ranse, then uh, he probably wants to use the power of the legendary Pokemon to do so. So I think we should find this legendary Pokemon before Nobunaga does. Okay. Interesting. You want us to try and get Warlords to join us? That's going to be hard. We've only gotten regular Joes to join us so far. But it would be cool to take on some of them. And I think everybody here wants to take a peek at their teams, so let's see. Oh, Palmo and Star Raptor. I'm glad he kept Star Raptor. It's such a cool Pokemon. There's no reason to take Star Raptor away from him. Granted, it might not be as 100% Link anymore. Okay, that little electric guy is uh, the steel electric type, really? Oh, that new. Uh, my friend used that new. Uh, what was it? Um, it's a cricket thing. Elokix. My friend Rick used it against me in Scarlet and Violet. Rotom Grass, Rotom Wash. They have Rotoms in this game now? Oh my god. Oh, Yoshimoto's got a Heracross now? Are you kidding me? He's got Heracross? Wait, is that Scyther's Evolve Form now? Or from the other region now? What is that one? Cleavor or something? That's awesome. Also, Needle King being in the game. I am surprised they did not have Needle King in the game before. So, thank you, game creator, for getting Needle King in here. Uh, Conkledur, okay. Conkledur makes sense. That's his natural one. We got Annihilate in this game. We got Honchkrow. We got Obstagoon. We got Howlucha. We got Rotom Ice. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Now, even though our power level has risen, we're still in a bit of trouble. So let me see if there's anything out there I want. I mean, we can't capture anything, so I guess uh, we could go shopping, but it'd be a waste of time, honestly. Yeah, honestly, I think we're just going to skip months. I don't really want to train these guys, even though they'd probably be very helpful. I feel like this game balanced everybody's teams. They're not all just one type, but they do favor a type. So you see this guy's, this girl's got a lot of electric types. He's got a couple fighting types. Not a lot, but a couple. Uh, I don't have Eevee. And you do have Beware. You're right. It would be hard to use Beware there. Almost all their Pokemon would be a problem. 
And then we look up here, and there's a lot of bugs. In fact, this guy's almost all bugs. He's just got Nidoking and that weird fossil Pokemon. If we were to try and take these guys on, I would obviously want to start with Violite. But Violite might be a little rough with my current team. So let's see. They got Rotom Wash, which has, if it has Levitate, it has basically no weakness except Grass. And we do have no, we have no Grass moves. Um, they have a Rotom Mo, which is weak to Fire, so that's good. And so is the Tojimaru. So we're going to keep Blaziken for now. Uh, Wormadam would also be good against one of them, but I'm going to drop Wormadam because I think its uh, accuracy is bad. Its speed is a little too slow to, for it to be helpful. Um, we're going up against Electric types, but we have zero Ground types. I have a Rock type. I don't know if that'd be helpful. Probably not. Let's see. It beat the Bird. It would beat the Bird at least, and I do like Lycan Rock a lot. So it'd mostly be just me liking the Pokemon and wanting to use it. I don't know, we're still really weak. I think it'd be a better idea to do a small amount of training. Or maybe even just up our happiness a little bit. Our guys don't seem to be the most happy. Uh, Ludicolo, I already have a water type, so I don't need them. I have two water types, so I like Swampert enough. I don't like it enough to want to use it. Shiftry being a grass dark type, it's like... Yeah, I wish you had a grass move. I really do. Though, the dark typing can be nice, since not a lot of things resist dark. Uh, it'd be a tough fight. It would be a tough fight. I'm, I'm afraid of Rotom Wash. Rotom Mo is kind of scary for my main Pokemon, but Rotom Wash is the one where I don't even know how I'm going to hit it. Paw Mo is a fighting type, a fighting electric type. That's pretty interesting, too. Uh, I don't have a psychic type, and I'm not training up this Slow King. Okay, let's say we're going to stick with this team, just because I'm making a Pokemon I really like. Um, oh, wow, Crabominal and Executor in the game. Beedrill's in the original game. Um, Shift Tree's here. Trophius is in the game now. Okay, people love Trophius, apparently. Let's go to the Pony Gary shop for the people that want it. Like Lycanroc, you. Uh, I still need some po uh, people to fight the other guy. I'd say Shift Tree needs it, too. Yeah, we'll take these three because they actually need it for their happiness. Pony Geary shops are just about making your Pokemon happier. So what will it be? Just give me the free Pony Geary. I don't have money. I have money, but it's not worth it. So yay! My Pokemon are happy. That'll make them better in the next fight. You guys, uh, Beware can't beat like three of these things. But the Blaziken can. It'll be a hard fight. I'm really interested to see these Pokemon though. So this is going to be really hard. But if I play it right, or if I don't make too many big mistakes, it should be fine. I'll give it everything I got. Crap, my team's separated. Okay, well, now it doesn't really matter what I think, because we are got separated. So, Executor, of course that is a psychic move, but it's Dream Eater. And Dream Eater is useless. At least it should be. Yeah, it should be useless. The Twin Needle is really good, but I'm glad that you're on this side so you can fight both of them. I wish you'd be able to hit them already, but it's fine. Um, Dream Eater, since you're useless, I'm not scared of you. Torterra, I wish I could get you on my team, honestly. You're just that good. Yeah, I'm no longer afraid. I am no longer afraid. Let's just start bullying people. The Torterra is going to be a problem for my Swamper. We already know this, but it's fine. Let's just do 13 damage to the Executor. I feel like that's a huge nerf for Executor to have... Uh, the Dream Eater attack, but who knows, maybe there's a one with an ability, and its ability puts the opponents to sleep, kind of like Musharna does in uh, the original Pokemon Conquest. Now, obviously, our target's Crabominal, so hopefully we can get to it. Wait, it can just use it? Oh, so th Dream Eater just works. Herbivore sounds really nice, nice. I did not know that, because now Blaziken's in hyper trouble. Oh, he just died in one hit. Fudge. It's hard to train a Blaziken when they... I, I thought it would... In the other game, they have to put you to sleep. So, I did not know about that in this... Oh, I just lost. That actually just cost me the whole fight. Not knowing that Dream Eater... I thought I got an easy fight here. Shit. Oh, that thing knows Drain Punch. Crap. That's gonna hurt. Yep. Okay, old Cooper's kind of screwed here. I've been in hard fights before, but this one doesn't seem like I can come back from it, knowing my opponent could actually use Dream Eater on me. 
I can at least heal off of this guy with Drain Punch. Drain Punch is such a nice move. I thought they'd give him Ice Hammer or something. But uh, Crobominal has Drain Punch as well, probably because it's a good move. Uh, Torterra's coming after us. I can already see that in his eyes. Let's just try to get rid of the... Shit, Torterra will get me if I try to hit the Beedrill. That's probably their plan. If I go here, the Torterra can't reach me. I just have to aim at Executor, which it's going to be so... It's going to be very hard to kill those things. Alright, 12 damage. The poisons are the same as Conveillance. Torterra needs to die. Executors need to die as well, but the biggest threat here is Beedrill poisoning my Swampert. Shit. <laughs> Alright, he say you did really good with the Beedrill. Okay. And Executor is going to continue to do the good job. As long as it's alive, I'm in a lot of trouble. And with its ability, I'm in so much trouble. Uh, I just can't do any damage to it is the problem. No, neither of my Pokemon can hurt it. Blaziken was supposed to be the one. But even Blaziken's not going to be the one. So Torterra looks like I'm going to start healing off of you. Because my Drain Punches won't do much to them. And I know I'm not doing anything to Executor right now. But screw it. I think even after moving Torterra, I'm still in death. Like, he'll still be able to reach me. But I've kind of already given up on this fight now that I see what's happening. Oh, I got a crit. That's nice. I got the accuracy drop. Haven't seen that. Alright, the poison's taking its toll. Yep, he can reach me. Goodbye, Swampert. You didn't stand a chance. I can't believe you're alive. Hey, Torrid ability activated, but I bet you they're about to go swarm you. Well, that one was obviously going to hit me. Yeah, I'm thinking I should just let my guy die, because if I don't, we're in trouble. I just did not know Blaziken was in danger. I thought Blaziken was fine because Dream Eater wasn't going to be able to hit him. But, um, turns out old Cooper wasn't right about that one. What a shame. I need to get to Swampert. That's why Beedrill moved there instead of attacking Swampert. They were just trying to block to make sure I can't get... I, mean, I need to get to Torterra is what I meant. Uh, they just made sure I couldn't get to Torterra. That's the only reason they did that. Well, if I move in between these two, they might kill me faster, so that might be good. Here, do no damage to the Beedrill. There we go. Just kill us, please. We apologize for ever attacking you. Blaziken has so much on his shoulders. I didn't know the changes in this game. Alright, we killed Issei, but the wild Pokemon in that Executor over there is going to kill us. Alright, this should do a shit ton. It almost killed me. The random Executor... What? But... But why? It's so I'm sorry, Oichi. I'm so sorry. Your happiness is definitely going down. And you too, Swampert. I'm sorry. But now I learned more about the game. I learned that uh, Dream Eater does not need your opponent to be asleep. I wonder if it has a stipulation like does extra damage if they're asleep or something. Which is nice to know. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's see our other team members. I wish I could delegate them. I don't want to actually have to train them. It just seems like a little bit wasteful. Okay, B Barrel's easy to train on. Oh, they put the Wulu evolution in this game? I don't even know its name. That's how sad it is. Alright, that's cool. Um, I guess I do want to train them. I just don't want to train. I just don't want to train so many of them. Okay, let me look at these members and who I actually like. Um, I will train you. I will train you. And I guess I can bring the bug still. You three can come and train. The other two guys will be ignored. I'm only willing to do this just in case I need to sub out a member for somebody that has a different typing. Uh, I'd say the easiest fight would be to... Let's go with the Lycanroc. That will be the easier fight. Yeah, definitely easier to fight a Lycanroc. B-barrels are tanks. Although I don't know how that Wulu thing will do. Alright. Let's see. Double. Okay, double. Salve is your ability. Okay, nothing wrong with a salve. Just gonna use my eerie impulse on you, lowering your speed. Um, be obviously beware. I'd want you to come over here to help out. Uh, you should be able to hit that double, right? Yeah, you can hit him. 
Yeah, one damage. I like that. Okay, whatever Doubles typing is, it resists the. It's a steel type, normal steel. You can already tell. I liked Wulu, but I never uh, cared for Double, so I. Yeah, I never went into for it. Battle armor? Oh, I was gonna get a crit there. Darn. It's funny that they let you know. They're just like, oh yeah, you would have got the crit. Don't you worry, it was coming. But uh, we didn't give it to you. Battle armor exists. Stone Edge, Slow Kings are pretty tanky. And this game is just defense. They don't have special and physical. Iron Head, that's an annoying move. Oh, it's only a three star move? I thought it was a four star move. They may have nerfed it. It is really good though. A freaking move that can flinch and move your opponent. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want that? All right, let's just take this guy out once and for all. We're just here for the experience, buddy. You're not a you're not a part of this. Yeah, 200 damage it is. Slow King collect our reward. And then you guys aren't so good at hitting him, so I need you out of the way. I'm going to let this guy take over. All right, this time try to hit your infestation. As little damage as you do, I need to add it up. Well, now that I know Double is a steel type, it might actually be useful on one of my teams in this game. All right, let's just throw some rocks at it. And finally, we got this fresh new Pangoro that wants to show off its attack stat. Yeah, we have perception ability, so we don't have to worry about hurting our friends. Taking advantage of our abilities. Huh. Did Steel resist Dark? Oh, this game's best. It's based off the Gen 5 engine. So even though we're up to Gen 9, it's still based off the Gen 5 engine. So Dark st Steel still resists Dark. So this is when Steel was still broken. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, it's probably still broken now, but you know what I mean. This is when it was really broken. Steel in old Pokemon was what they wanted Rock to be in Gen 1. They wanted Rock to be, oh man, this is a type you'll never be able to destroy. But it ended up being Steel types that were like that. Alright, Beware, just do it. Or Pangoro, sorry, but Beware's the other one, I apologize. Oh, I was about to get a crit there. Night Slash does have a high crit chance. Alright, there we go. And yeah, everyone seems happy. Barely any strength up because there was only two enemies to fight. But that's alright. And it looks like we're going to have to go to the next month. And in our next month, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to beat the electric area. Because they're going to be hard. I'm not even joking. The electric one's going to be really hard. Especially when they have a higher power level. But that will be for tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's problem. I'll see you all next time. Please remember to like and subscribe and get ready for more Pokemon Conquest Ultimate.